All right, guys, today we're playing some off meta as real top lane. And the plan this game is that we're going to be rushing as much ability haste as possible this game. And we are going to make the Q from Astral literally at zero cooldown. It's going to be awesome. You'll see. Um, we have Conquer, we have Presence, we have Bloodline, Cut the Grass, Metaflow, and then we also have Transcendence. We also have a D Blade, and then we also run TP here since we might be running a little bit out of mana. During the early session in lane. Don't make me put my goggles. See how this goes. We are also in a very favorable matchup. Well at least I consider this to be a favorable matchup. Because Gragas can only poke me through Qs. Or he has to actually dash up to me. So I think we're going to be... I think we're going to be fine. I have to rely a lot on, the, on hitting the autos. Also... Um, Gragas can poke very easily through using his Q, but that's about it. No time to waste. Nice. Oh, good start. You know, you gotta keep in mind that Astral does have a lot of, uh, a lot of skill involved here, since you actually have to hit the Qs. But if you play Astral top very well, this is going to work flawlessly. A lot of matchups actually get countered by uh, by Ezreal. Caught by W. Nice. Pretty good. Got my Q off. Got to be careful about uh, about the jungle now. Don't have a ward though. This is going, going to be a risk that we're going to have to take. Hmm. I'll go back here. Just in case. Alright, so first things first. We are going to buy tier. It's going to be a absolute core item. Like, we need tier, otherwise we can't spam everything anymore. I'm also just going to wait, like, at least a second for my potion. There we go. Okay. Watch. Now comes the fun. I'm in my element, evil. Still don't know where Diana is. I do have a ward in like three seconds. If he throws in the queue, I'll see if I can dodge it using my E. Okay. No way. <laughs> Alright. What? Alright. I'm gonna have to run either way. Yas is on the way. Yas is also roaming. And there he goes again. I'd love to see how this day and actually ignited. <laughs> But yeah, they also had a mid laner roaming, uh, roaming. I wasn't planning on flashing. I was actually planning on fighting Diana as well. <laughs> Seems like he's back. He's got AP. Okay. We're gonna have to play this safer temporarily. So we can stay away from the from the Q. The jungle was currently in mid. We're gonna be shuffing things out. not going to move up to me that fast. I doubt it. I'm just going to make sure I get my level 6 before he does. Nice. I need to get that next wave and then I can go back. He's probably going to try and drop the Q down. Yep. Nice Q. My Qs don't do a lot of damage now, but soon they will. Alright, perfect. Now we can get started. I'm gonna drop down my ultimate on the wave as well. I'm just looking to clear down the wave right now and then reset, but then we come back with items and then we can actually get started. 
All right, let's get back. So first things first, I want to build Sheen. That's going to be core. Let's go with a potion. And then we also take a ward. Let's see how this goes. I kind of I kind of wish I saw that Diana coming sooner. I wish I didn't put like a trinket in the brush here before. Because I could have seen her coming later. But whatever. My jungle is actually permacamping ball lane so hard. Alright, let's shove things out. Um, it's very likely we could be ganked by Diana. We'll see. Diana's currently in mid. Good to know. Always take a look at the map, guys. See where uh, the enemy jungle is going to be. Because sometimes there are, are times when you just don't yeah. need to have any wards. Because you can clearly tell where the... Uh, the jungle is. Yeah, let's try. We're gonna try again. Yep. No problem. Might try and farm it. He didn't. He actually skipped it. <laughs> okay. All right. Honestly, a pretty weird matchup. Oh, wait. Of course, Yasuo's roaming again. What's he gonna do? His roam failed and he walks back again and retries. Hmm. Dodging a Gragas Q can be very annoying. Can't wait to eventually get my hands on a Sense Reaver. You know the most annoying thing about playing Astral Top? It, it's good in some aspects, but it's really horrible in terms of uh, actually hitting your Qs. If your opponent is smart or decently smart, he's just going to stand behind the wave. And then you won't be able to poke him. I'm gonna shove things out and get back. Three seconds for my TP. We have a said Giovanni coming topside. I'm at my best in the world the brink of annihilation. Okay, here it comes. He's, he might throw in the ultimate towards me. Yep, got him. Now, once we pull through the early game, guys, things will get a lot more interesting. I think we're gonna stay around. I have my, uh, I got my TP, so I can just take plates now. Nice. See if I can get all of these as well, and then I'm gonna go back. Perfect. Need like a little bit more, specifically 400 gold, but I'm getting back anyway. I should be able to beat Gragas right now. Nice. I'm gonna go for this one. Always good to have. I'm gonna TP. We have a Sejuani coming topside. But I think she's going mid. Now oh, here comes the fun. I'm gonna be freezing up the wave. Hopefully we can poke down Gragas a little bit. Seems like Gragas is roaming towards mid, so I'm going to shove out the lane using my ult. Time for a true display of skill. 
Yep, he was roaming mid lane. He's actually getting back now. Yep, he's still a mid. He actually got a kill. Nice. It's got no potions. Hmm. In terms of like farm, we are already very far ahead of Gragas. Fortunately, no kills yet, but things will change. Can't directly auto him because I'll walk into his like his E range directly. Maybe I can bait him. I was thinking about if he was to, if he was actually dashing, I would just press my E away. Okay. I can get my sensory for now. Hmm. So I'm looking for fights. Finally, things happening. Got him. Now we shove the wave out. Perfect. Let's see if I can get like one plate before we go back to base. This one. Yeah, now we can back off. So I can now buy my Sense Reaper. We can get myself uh, Lucidity Boots, so we will have a total of 40 ability haste. And our next item is going to be... I'm personally thinking about going with Duskblade. I think I'm going to go Duskblade. Yeah, so far my Q is already 2.85 seconds cooldown. If I hit my Q, it's going to be lowered by another 1.5 seconds. No plan so it's seven. around 1 point... 1 point 30? But yeah, 1 per 30. <laughs> Look at this, we only have like two items. Again, perma spends like, like crazy now. Nice. And I got him. Oh, 18 HP. Alright. Okay. Very well done. Will he stay? Our next item is probably going to be Duskblade. Oh, we're getting ganked by Dana. I hope that wasn't a world heritage site. Yep. And look at this. Where is she going? I'm pretty sure she's probably going to use the plant. Or, yeah, she's right there. Nice. That's gonna be a free kill. Nice. Okay. We can probably dive Yasu as well. <laughs> oh man, that guy is actually so lucky. Can probably kill Gragas here. Ah, never mind. All right, time to get back. We're gonna go with Duskblade, 
And I'll specifically go Warhammer for lower cooldown. And now we walk back top. Yeah, so far we're 3-0, you know, guys. It's looking good. You know, the, the hardest part has been done. Like, Gragas is... Uh, you kind of counter Gragas because you can stay from a far away and then you can farm with Qs. Uh, but killing Gragas can be difficult to do. Because you always have to walk into his range. Uh, but as you can see, like, we took it slowly. Okay. Uh, Yasuo might be coming top. Good chance. And my boots are not waterproof. Never mind. It's currently mid. My Q is now uh, just the second cooldown. And with blue buff, we can just perma spam. Maybe we can get some jungle camps as well. Hmm. We can catch him here. Or maybe we don't. Never mind. I'm not even auto-attacking anymore, I'm just spamming Q right now. Let's build Serrated Dirk, we're gonna be TPing to bot lane. Gotta stay outside of that Diana range, since she can burst me. Got him. I did hit my Q there. Yeah, I got him as well. And is oh, Astral top doing work, man. Just spamming Qs. I'll take the wave and then we back off again. And yeah, so far my Q is now 2.6 and 8 seconds. Watch this. Now my Q is 2.46 seconds. Minus 1.5. Is less than 90, uh, 0.90 seconds. Let's see if we can kill this guy. I got a red buff so he doesn't get to run that easily. Uh, spoke gonna get away. Yeah. He's getting away. Maybe, maybe not. If I can get one Q on him, he's dead. One more. Okay. What? Okay. Uh, all right. Okay. <laughs> Very well then. Thank you, Yasio. You only um only when I miss my Q, it doesn't feel as smooth. So I gotta hit my Qs. I think I'm going to get Mana Moon next. And then after Mana Moon, uh, probably never equip Blades, I think. Because that gives the most ability haste. Let's see, I'm going to be flanking them right behind them. Got him. 
Nice. Got him as well. He's getting away, obviously. I can kill or try and kill Yasuo here. He's overextending. I think he's going to keep on shoving. Or he's backing in one of these brushes. Yeah, he backed off already. Alright, let's get back. Or we can stay for just a bit more. Let's take the wave now we back off. Next wave, and then we back off. I'll use my ultimate as well. Now we back off. Alright, next. We're gonna go for Nevery Quick Blades. I haven't built this item in a long time. But it's what we need now. Also, I'll take the Mana Moon. And there he goes. My, uh, my E is also very short cooldown. Got him too. <laughs> Look at my Q. <laughs> hey, either way, this is Astro Top. Thanks so much for watching today's uh, YouTube video, and I'll see you next time. Peace.